This is your boy DJ Troy. You're now tuned in to youtube.com slash goodintentvillage. YouTube, what's up? This is your boy DJ Troy in the building. Um, just gonna go through a quick trending topic. Today is August the 2nd, 2016, and let's get into it. So, the number one trending story right now in New York City is of course um, the resignation of Commissioner Bill Bratton. And why is that important throughout the world? Because remember, whoever is in charge of the police force in New York City, you know, pretty much have a hands up on what happens to the rest of the United States. It's a very powerful position. So the guy that's taken over from him, Hopefully, he's going to be able to police the force in a appropriate way. And of course, all Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter campaign is still happening. So, you know, he needs to be able to deal with all that's been happening lately with police officers and the discrimination against Black and Hispanics and people of color in general. So... You know, I wish that this change of the guard brings something positive. Okay, moving on to local uh, or, you know, I guess celebrity news. Um, last night was the season finale of The Bachelors. Yes, people were talking about the trending topic. So, of course, um, JoJo pick, you know, Aaron Rodgers' brother and, you know, it was, you know, one of these shows that, you know, it was okay, it was cool. But one of the things that, as I watched the show, that strike me is that the nice guy never really wins, okay? So what that means is that you don't have to be an, a total asshole, but you cannot be the pushover because girls usually do not want to go for the guy that's the nice guy in the building, okay? Guy, girls want the guy that's going to be able to defend and to secure them. So being nice is okay, but at the same time, too, you have to show some form of strength. So congratulations to JoJo and our new husband-to-be. Wishing them the best of luck. Now, moving on to politics. Um... One of the biggest topics, of course, that's been affecting the United States of America is, of course, the election that's happening um, and that will be happening in November. And, of course, we have the Republican nominee for president is Donald Trump and the Democratic nominee for president is Hillary Clinton. Now... <clears throat> What has happened is that Donald Trump has been engaging in many disputes with many people all over the country, and it's like, wow, okay? His latest dispute was, of course, this dispute with the Khan family, and um, if you guys don't know, there was a man by the name of, you know, Mr. Khan, and his son died in Iraq, you know, fighting, and you know, it was one of these things that, you know, he came up on Donald Trump for at the Democratic um, process and saying, well, Donald Trump, you don't know the United States Constitution, and Donald Trump went after him. Now, Donald Trump, that was a bait, okay, because people know that you're going to respond to everything, and there's no way that Donald Trump should have you know, competed with a family whose son paid the ultimate sacrifice. There's no way you could compete with that, okay? So Donald Trump should have just leave that one alone. But Donald Trump being Donald Trump has answered, and now he's down almost eight points down in the poll. You know, he, he, shouldn't, he, shouldn't, he shouldn't have taken the bait, Donald Trump, and it's going to show in your poll numbers, so... To all those people out there who knows that, you know, people are trying to bait you up, just be careful what you answered for. Now, moving on to celebrity um, news, um, international 
dancehall star Beanie Man was it with um, Chick V and the Zika virus, um, possibly, and he's getting treatment for it. Um, he didn't. He wasn't able to get his visa to go to Drake's OVO Fest in Canada that's happening right now, and it was just. It's just been a rough week for Beanie Man. So. Our prayers goes out to Benny Man and his entire family and wish him a speedy recovery and, you know, so he could go back and, you know, be in on his game. Because what people don't understand, or sometimes people don't understand, for those people who don't understand, okay, I said understand like 10,000 times, but is that Beanie Man supports a whole bunch of people, okay? You have a lot of people that depends on him working and being in good health, you know, so I just wish him the very best, uh, you know, in health and strength so he could get back to doing what is it that he has to do.